Okay, so the other day I got one of these at Walmart and it was in a little package like this and everything. And then uh, it said uh, freeze or cook by uh, May 1st, right? So I'm sitting there and this meat is looking really bad. When I opened it, it had like blood clots in it, like little brown things and like no blood. It was really strange. And it was all like desecrated. And uh, this is corned beef that you make corned beef and cabbage out of. And uh, uh, I love this stuff. Um, but the other cut was almost $15. And this one here, it says, use or freeze by June 8th of 2020. So it was really strange. Um, apparently, they bagged this at Walmart. Um, because a butcher went and cut a fresh piece and sealed it up. This one looks so much better. The other one almost looked like it was already cooked. It was already separating the fibers. And I was taking some of the excess fat off. And it still had the little blood clots in it. So it was really strange. And then the pickle bag that comes in it. Which I'll show you that in a minute. Um, it was all poofed up. So I gave up washing it. And trying to cut all the fat off of it and all that. Is it was just kind of endless. And so I just put it on a Ziploc bag with the package. And I've got stacks of receipts. So it was like really a nightmare. Here's a little pack. It's supposed to be flat. The one I had was like poofed up like that. And you wash it in cold water. You wash this blood out because when you throw this in the trash, it'll stink. So try to wash all that stuff out as much as you can. This is such an easy to cook meal too. But this one doesn't have all those little blood clots all through it. Thank God. This one looks a whole lot better. Got these gloves at Harbor Freight. They don't have any anymore because they um, gave them all to the hospitals. All the Harbor Freights did because I went to another state and they had given theirs away too. I'll try to get some of this fat off because it just gets too darn greasy. I'm not in deep fat fried or grease too much. But anyway, we took it back yesterday. What a bad day to go. They did shut down, and I'm at my Florida house, and um, they did shut down yesterday, and I didn't even know. Um, and people were everywhere. Sure were a lot of Texas people. They're not even supposed to be here. Um, their state isn't even on a, on a lockdown. They keep refusing to do it. One of the few states left that are not on lockdown. But anyway, took it back and took it to the front desk. And the manager makes a comment, this is not the only one we've had. And it was like, no. And went back to see the butcher. Said, I'll cut you a fresh new piece. And everything and if you ever see that it's better not to eat it sometimes with the heat it'll cook a lot of the bacteria out they said it's really better not to eat it but bring it back he said he didn't know how that happened now it could have happened on a reefer might have gone bad on a tractor trailer that was bringing the meat i've seen that happen where a whole tractor trailer went bad because the reefer was going down and the guy wasn't going to make it in time and it all had to be supposed to be thrown out. But I convinced him to call a mission or a church or something to come get it. And they had to unload the whole tractor trailer. Because it was a loss. Because the reefer had gone down. 
the reaper is the cooler part of the tractor trailer there's tractor trailers that are cold and they haul food products and things and they gotta stay cold so ah uh, that was really nice of them they uh took and refunded back the original one and then um charged this this one which was this one was cheaper i like the biggest cut i can get because i would cook it and cook it and cook it and it's just the greatest stuff in the world corn beef and cabbage and uh So that was a great part of the day yesterday, was to get a fresh one. It's a good thing I didn't throw it in the trash. I was really bummed, because it was so foul. It really looks strange. I never saw a piece of meat like that. I've seen green meat, I've seen stinky meat, but that was really, really strange meat. So... Make sure, if you got meat from the Fort Walton Walmart, to check it. And if it's bad, do take it back, because they're standing there waiting for you to do so. Because somehow or another, they got a lot of bad meat. Do not eat it. If it looks strange, has blood clots in it, around it. With it, it was really strange. It was like little brown buttons. Then I'd wash it, and then more would appear. I'd cut some of the fat away, and there'd be some under there. And it was just continuous. And I just said, I'm just done. There's something wrong with this meat. This one looks real good. I wish I got a bigger cut, because so much of this stuff is fat. And I'd like to get the majority of it off before I go to cook it, so I don't have to worry about skimming it. Because I like to cook it in a crock pot. So, check your meat before you get ready to cook it, because it might be bad, especially if you have a brisket like that, corned beef brisket. Alright, take it easy, eat safe and good food, and you have a really great and blessed day.